Welcome to the Moms Making Six Figures podcast, where it's all about real women, real stories, real inspiration. And now your host and creator of Moms Making Six Figures, Heidi Bartolotta. Moms Making Six Figures. Today, I am going to be talking with my dear friend, Jennifer Becker, and we're going to be talking about masterminds. And we are actually hosting a mastermind in January, beginning in January. We're going to talk a little bit about the value that we have pulled out of masterminds over the years and then offer up something that we have never offered before, which is um, having you partner with us in a mastermind. And it really doesn't matter which part of the country that you're in because it will be obviously obviously via Zoom, which we've all been living on. (laughs) Um, But I think it'll be really fun. And I think it might be something that if you have been questioning, I want someone to help me to grow, I want someone to help me with accountability, it might be the perfect fit for you. So enjoy today's podcast. And I will look forward to meeting some of you on our mastermind. So today I'm here with my very good friend, Jennifer Becker, who I've interviewed before. You're one of the first podcast interviews that I ever did. Yeah, when it was brand new. And today we are going to be talking about masterminds and the value of them, you know, what they've added to our lives, and then a little bit about one that we're going to be launching. So why don't you start out with, you've been in business for a very long time, and um, what what value has a mastermind added for you? What do you think it's it's done for you personally? Yeah, I'd never really heard of a mastermind until I started working for myself, running my own business. And I think the first year I was floundering a little bit, just trying to figure out, you know, how to work for myself and how to stay focused. And then there are topics that people only encounter as a business owner. And so I was offered to be in a mastermind and I had no idea what it was or why I needed it, but I decided to just go a little outside of my comfort zone and join. And it was great. It was all business owners. And each week it was a weekly mastermind and we did it for a year. We would get together and talk about topics that business owners, whether it was a struggle, whether it was an idea, um, it's how I really learned how to take control of my calendar that came out of a mastermind and creating a calendar link and being really efficient, scheduling my time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I learned how to really schedule processes in my business and have standard work. It's when I launched a website. All of that came out of a mastermind and getting together weekly. And I found some weeks I was more listening to others, voice their concerns and issues they were having in their business, which I would learn from. Mm -hmm. They might not have been things I had encountered yet, but it was kind of like putting it in my toolbox for when that came. Mm -hmm. And then there were weeks I was coming saying, hey, here's what I want to do. It's how my customer referral program came out of a mastermind. It was sitting there one day saying, you know, how do do I launch this? What does it look like? I want to compensate for referrals. I want to utilize my existing network that I have through, you know, business colleagues and LinkedIn. And um, it was someone in that mastermind that said, it'd be really convenient if you had a booklet so I knew exactly what you're looking for. And that's when the referral booklet was born. Mm -hmm. So do you think that, um, because I think about masterminds and I think there's a lot of times for me that they have shown me things that I didn't even know to look for in my business, if that makes sense. And it brought up areas where I was like, oh, I can get ahead of this before it even happens, Mm -hmm. right? Do you think that you've seen that as well? Oh, yeah. I mean, efficiency was really yeah. what came out of a mastermind. Um, I remember one week we said, let's track everything you do for an entire week mm-hmm. and see, you know, what's value added, what's non-value added, what's non-value added but necessary. And that was one of those things where I, I didn't see it coming, but it was almost like I was able to tackle the efficiency piece before I needed to, mm-hmm. as, in a sense. One of the things that I really have appreciated about masterminds over the years for me is that I really like the different voices. So when you have, for me, women that are from very different um, backgrounds, that have different skill sets, 
and they look at a topic, I find that they all look at it a little bit differently because they look at it through their own lens. And so I get this very diverse kind of broad feedback for me. Whereas if I'm talking to someone that's maybe in the same profession or similar profession to me, I don't get as much depth in my overall objective or question or what I have, what I'm going through at the time. And I think for me, that's been the most valuable piece. I'm, as you know, I'm, um, I'm hosting a mastermind right now and it's 10 women and we all have very, very different businesses, but it's really interesting to hear someone else's take on my problem because they see it through their you know, not only their lens, but also through their business or their career, right? And it's just opened up so much, I think, for me to look at myself, but also my business differently. Have you found something similar in the ones that you've been a part of? Yeah, and I think it it brings um, the opportunity for others to question yeah. maybe why you're doing something mm-hmm. or does that make sense where sometimes yeah, totally. in my mind it completely makes sense, but then from the outside looking in, when you have those extra set of ears and eyes looking and asking, mm-hmm. all of a sudden you realize, well, why am I doing that? Or maybe I can switch that up. Um, the other powerful thing in Mastermind is networking. Yeah, I've met so many great people, or when you are trying to launch a website or a podcast or whatever mm-hmm. it is, I find having that additional network of professionals is just kind of um, a unique place to pull from. Yeah. So let's talk about what we are doing in January. Yeah. So we have decided to, we both host masterminds. Um, Yours is much larger than mine. Mine is a little bit of a smaller mastermind. But we both have hosted them and for very specific networks and reasons. And we've decided in January to open it up to our podcast base for anyone that's looking for a group of women to come and really dive in with. And um, for me, the thing that I always think about a mastermind is it's nice to have someone that is kind of holding your hand along a process. Like I love having other women that are at the same place as me, maybe in different industries where we're moving forward together. And that's really what I hope comes out of this. So how do you foresee in January? Like what would you, if you were to handpick a group of women, what would you handpick? I would be looking for someone that wants accountability, Mm -hmm. wants growth, because I find those are the two biggest things for me that have come out of of a mastermind is accountability, growth in my business, Mm -hmm. Um, growth not only professionally, but also personally. We really challenge each other in the mastermind to do things for personal growth, whether it is a podcast or reading daily, um, exercising, all the things that you need in your life, successful habits, because you have to be have those good personal habits, I think, to grow professionally. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's what I look for is people who really want to grow, take their business next level, and come to the table ready to help others, not just take, but, you know, give as much as you're Mm -hmm. going to take is what I like to say, just because, and then you'll get out of it what you put into it. If you truly, you know, follow along and, you know, we have great worksheets that really help. I mean, you've heard if you want to achieve a goal, you got to write it down. And so if you do spend time to put some time and effort and thought into the worksheets that we provide and, Mm -hmm. and then find an accountability partner within the mastermind, I think that's going to be really helpful too. Yeah, I agree with you. I think just like anything in life, you get out of it what you put into it. Mm -hmm. And I've been in ones over the years where I can definitely say I was not in the right place to be there. And I took out very little, and that was totally on me. But, um, yeah, same thing for me. I'm I'm excited about doing it with a network of women that are maybe broader in expanse of what their career paths are just because I think— Again, it adds so much to, not just to you professionally, but to your life, as you mentioned, because it's really about personal development as well. So so we're going to be launching this in January. 
And if you listen to the podcast and you're interested, please reach out. Um, we will have a button on the website, but it's also you can email admin at Moms Making Six Figures. And we're really going to kind of vet the people to make sure that the groups are appropriate for the people that are coming to that group. And they're not going to be large groups, so it is going to be a pretty intimate group. Um, so you'll really get to know one another. And I think that going into next year, if you have some really big goals and there are things that you really want to accomplish and you want that growth and accountability, this is something that might add a lot of value. So I would reach out and and you can figure out, we also <laughs> are very different in the way that we function. Yeah. There's so many things that are similar about us, but there are so many differences in um, in the way that we work with people. So, so you might, you might, think that you would want me and you end up really <laughs> loving Jen more <laughs> or vice versa. <laughs> so. And I would say make sure you have the time. If you're going to commit yeah. to it, then check the dates, check your schedule because mm-hmm. each one builds on one another. Yeah. And if you're just going to pick and choose when you show up, I don't think you're going to get the value out of yeah. it that you Not could. at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. The one that I'm hosting right now, I was talking to one of the women. She's like, this can't end. We only have two more. Um, She's like, this can't end. We have to figure out a way to extend it. Because you really end up becoming really dear friends with people. You get to know a lot about them. So it's such a such a blessing. Mm -hmm. So for sure. Anything you want to add? No, I would just say definitely evaluate where your priorities lie and make sure that you can fully dive in. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for doing this with me. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Moms Making Six Figures podcast. If you enjoyed this podcast, please take a moment to leave a review on iTunes. To learn more about Moms Making Six Figures, head over to momsmakingsixfigures.com. That's right, momsmakingsixfigures.com.